So as you can see, feet for me were a bit too narrow, left foot was turned in a little bit, okay? Because of that, you couldn't really move your body as effectively, because you couldn't move your body as effectively as you came back into impact, you would tend to scoop the golf club at the golf ball. Your hands, as we can see here, are behind the golf ball. So you're adding loft now to that golf club, which is why your launch angle is really high. Yes, it creates a lot of speed, this is why you get the ball quite a long way, but you're not somebody who really needs a lot more speed and distance. It's nice, I know, but controlling the golf ball, hitting it straighter and in a bit more of a sort of controlled trajectory will be more beneficial to you in terms of your score, rather than how far can I get seven iron, yeah? We've got to control it. You're not going to be something to be short of distance, okay? So, stance has got to be wider. Open that foot up. I think you can move in it. There you go. There you go. So that was a bit too much there. We sort of, like sort of flaring up that foot there. Get yourself in a position now where you can shift your lower half onto that left side. So, better setup there. Now you've got a bit more stability in the base. Now from here, the head can stay behind as that lower half shifts. Yes, your head's sort of staying in the same position. And your left hip is there and moves to sort of over here somewhere. As you can see, so you're shifting your lower half where your head stays there, getting into a much more efficient impact. There's your club shaft. Roughly that reverse K they were talking about, yeah? It's not far away from where you want to get to, okay? That's, that was in like four swings. So with a bit of practice getting into that position. And then for me, we can get yourself, or you can get yourself, as I say, practicing that position, getting in a better impact. So when you get fitted for clubs, they're going to fit you with the correct shaft for your club head speed and the correct loft. Not go, oh yeah, he's got a lot of club head speed, but he launched it too high. I'll tell you what, we'll crank the loft down. So you can do that, but then you're not really building a club then to sort of fit a bad swing. You want to build a swing that's going to fit a better swing, yeah? yeah. It's like saying to someone, okay, I'm going to get fitted for a wedding dress and I'm going to lose four stone. But to get the wedding dress fitted for you when you're four stone heavier, yeah. <laughs> when the dress comes through, it's not going to look very good, is it? Yeah. You're drowning. So you bet you're swinging in a more efficient position. And just from a, a better quality of strike, if the hands are slightly forward impact, your angle in the goal is going to be better. So you'll get a more efficient strike no matter where you are. If the hands are behind the goal ball impact, you can strike a ball well on a mat, get you on the grass, you'll often fat the golf ball or thin the golf ball because you're hitting the golf ball now with your hands behind and hitting up on it too much. Yeah? That club's going to be coming down and striking a bit more down on the golf ball. So it's going to take a little bit of practice, but you showed there in fairly quick time how you can shift and adjust your body. The setup did help, just yeah. wider with the feet. It's the ball a bit. No, that's fine. Ball. That's fine there. That's absolutely fine. It needs to be just left to centre, yeah? In an ideal way, if I clear all this thing, that way. You want the golf ball to be positioned for me, just sort of down through. There you go. To your left cheek, yeah? Left cheek, left chest. Hands are just in front, head's just behind you. Yeah. And you come back to impact. Head stays behind, hands get in front, yeah? Whereas this one here, now you were sort of setting up. Ball for me was a little bit too far forward, okay? I mean, if you'd have moved your foot there, it probably wouldn't look so bad, okay? But you come back to goal, you can't really shift because your feet are too close together. If you shifted at all, you lost balance, and with the foot turned in, you do it so well and then as you finish the shot you finish it like that yeah? yeah so wider ball back slightly hands are going to be slightly more in front as you come into impact okay mate mm -hmm. make sense yeah cool so have a couple morning buddy